Good morning and welcome once again to BRS Daily Prayer Group. If you're joining us for the first time today, my name is Richard Fisher and I'm the Chief Executive of the Bible Reading Fellowship. Today we'll continue in our exploration of worship. Thank you to Paul Gravel, who is the author of the Worship Reflections in the May to August 2021 issue of New Daylight. In his notes, he writes, a lot of what we say and sing is about God, but it seems to me that it's only by praising, reverencing, and paying homage to God directly, either together or individually, that we are really beginning to get to the true meaning of worship. So let's come together this morning to praise, revere, and pay homage to God ahead of our day. We'll start this morning with our prayer of welcome for the week. In his parable about the loving father, Jesus says this, the father ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. Likewise, God our father has been waiting with open arms to welcome us to this time together. Thank you for your embrace of love. Christ, our brother, has been praying for us with wounded hands and side to make this homecoming possible. Thank you for your embrace of love. Holy Spirit, our companion, has been renewing us from within to gift us with the family likeness. Thank you for your embrace of love. And so, loving Lord, we welcome you and we welcome one another to this time of prayer in the name of the earth maker, the bridge builder and the life bringer. Amen. Let's say a prayer for the day together out loud or silently in your head. Almighty God, we bow before the love that can't stop loving, the gift that can't stop giving, the light that can't stop enlightening, the blessing that can't stop blessing. We kneel before you, our loving Father, who never changes. Amen. Our reading today is from 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 18 and 20 to 21 from the Good News Translation. Elijah answered, You are disobeying the Lord's commands and worshipping the idols of Baal. So Ahab summoned all the Israelites and the prophets of Baal to meet at Mount Carmel. Elijah went up to the people and said, How much longer will it take you to make up your minds? If the Lord is God, worship him. But if Baal is God, worship him. But the people didn't say a word. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21, we read, How much longer will it take you to make up your minds? If the Lord is God, worship him. Paul Gravel writes, worship, like every kind of communion with our God, is a two-way process because confession of our failures is also a part of our worship. God's forgiveness, because of what he has done through Jesus, is his ready response. Please join me now in a time of reflection.
Let's join together in a prayer. Lord, as we celebrate your goodness, we are healed from our self-preoccupation. Lord, as we think upon your grace and beauty, we are set free from our self-interest. Lord, as we speak out your praise, we are cleansed from our self-love. Lord, as we focus our attention on you, you give us back our life and help us to become who we are meant to be. Amen. Let's share a blessing to end our time together. Lord God, we bless you as you have blessed us. And with your blessing, may we bless all those whom we meet today. In the name of our God, who gave us earthly life, who was one for us eternal life, and who offers us renewal of life, our maker, redeemer, and friend. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. If you've enjoyed taking a moment to pray with us this morning, please do join us at the same time tomorrow, 8.45 a.m.